Hmm. All right. Interesting. Uh, so this is Gorgda Seville, which is more powerful. I do get to move them again. Okay. I wonder if I'll lose my accommodation point that way. I only have one fighter, and it's not doing very well there. All right, so they're actually bringing in a counterattack. Uh, first of all, let's shell these a second time. I need to push these guys away before anything else, like because otherwise, like my units are going to get encircled, and that's a bit of a problem here. I cannot shell them a second time. I don't actually want to repair these guys, if I'm honest. They're, they're not core forces either. So it doesn't really matter to me how much damage they take. As long as they remain alive. Uh, that is actually what counts now. They cannot get out, but that's that's fine. I'm a bit worried about these, but even if they die, I have plenty of, uh, of forces that... Ah, oh, come on. Seriously. Huh. Yeah, this this thing is is a problem. But if it comes all the way from there, what is its movement? Twelve. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is its m bare maximum range. Ooh, lucky. So if I just retreat a bit, then this airplane actually can already no longer do anything. It could go in here technically fly there but that's the only yeah or there but those are the only other airfields that it can take so i'm best off retreating for like one turn to consolidate i think hmm like they have a range of two So even if I just move back like this, they can already no longer touch me there. Uh, so let's put you in here. And these guys there and that, that should make them safe so it means that uh, yeah I'll put you out here though and actually do get to attack these guys getting rid of as much infantry as possible is, is the, the best outcome there so uh, yeah I, I will go there I know they have the artillery They are heavily entrenched though, so it's not a complete surprise. No, that that's overdoing it, I think. Okay, they go back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Here's some interesting units. Brigada Muxta. Mixta. Okay, they seem to be exceptionally powerful, these mixed brigades. 11 attack, which is on par almost with our colonial infantry. So they really do come with a counteroffensive on that side. It seems like they just repaired here. Uh, it's good for me. Because... Uh, It does allow me to strike in the west first and then move towards the east. I think that's probably the way that I want to go here. I also think that I want to kill off this infantry before going after those guys because the infantry is more dangerous. Yeah. I'm kind of stuck now. It would have suited them to retreat. Hmm. But then they didn't. So that's a bit of a bummer. All right, let's let's use the recon to identify whether there's anything else. It seems like there is. They do have some heavy units up there. It means I won't necessarily be able to take that. So I guess I get the AUX airfield, I'll be fine though. Shame they cannot go all the way up there, but it means if that was a good hit I would have been able to get them already uh, they did go out sure let's take it uh, it does not seem to have really done anything uh So like, hmm. well, I got seventy five for it. Bit strange. Oh. oh, silly. All right. Let's try to push these away. No. That would have been quite neat if that actually succeeded. Wow. 
Seriously? Man. Now those are some crazy rolls. you up here. I wonder if I have to re-put them in Seville as it is, like... This uh, does give my air units uh, a bit of experience, there was the hope at least, but it seems like uh, they didn't do any damage back. I also wonder how much the enemy does get to repair. Well, I guess it's no use worrying about it now. But I will do this. Let's see if I can put some damage into that thing. If I did, would have done 5 damage, I might have even been able to shoot it down, but that's probably not going to happen now. Nope. I got real severe beating, actually, against this thing. Uh, the uh, RNG gods are not favoring me in that aspect. Especially since I was actually pretty favored against that thing. But still... Good. That removes the uh, these units being encircled. Which was also a problem. Still trying to get some decent results against these guys, but Yeah, we finished them off. Thanks. So now I still want to finish off this artillery. It just has to be done. Let's hope they retreat actually. Nope. It's a real problem when the RNG meddles in 
with your strategy. Because I need them to retreat, basically. It's just... Uh... Because now they get to attack this thing. Basically, I was supposed to push them back and then protect this unit. Mm, but that ain't happening now. Which is a major problem. What is this thing's range? Two. And a movement of one. Very well. Attacking the Garda Seville is probably worth a bit more. Despite the apparent bigger losses here. Well, let's pull you back. The problem is that anti-tank gun. I will not be able to defeat this strong point though, that's... Practically impossible without engineers. But if I can indeed... Take other areas, I would, I would gladly do that. a lot of damage. Just like this will be a lot of damage. Yeah, like I said, if I had been able to push these guys back, this would not have happened, but uh, as is the case usually with games like this, is that it does... There is always kind of like a snowball effect where good luck helps you improve even more and bad luck makes you do even worse. So you're going to take additional damage for having bad luck and you're going to... Um, well, save additional prestige if you have very good luck. That's usually how those those things work. Mm. All right, let, let's still try to do this here. Once again, I think the chances of me finishing it off are not exceptionally high, although 
like this I might be fine yeah <laughs> it might be a bit overdoing it though yep. take that city didn't see that bomber so it must have repaired I don't know whether I like that Those are two bombers. I thought I had a third. They didn't deal anything? Wow. I'll keep blasting. Four four is also not the outcome that I'm looking for. So let's get these guys back. I don't know when I'll have five again. I mean, I'm supposed to have five already. Not really sure how that works. So this thing can actually switch, indeed. The six soft attack. Still wonder how that works, though. Like, how was it able to deal three damage then if it's one and zero now? That's a bit strange. So... Effective attack 6, defensive rating 10. But wouldn't the same apply here? So why doesn't it? Like, see, this nine times, 20% chance, so. Hmm. I guess it was just lucky last time then. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, you definitely need to go back. I actually need a bit more powerful units here because this is not powerful units. Um... Let's just go after these. First, not sure how much movement it is, but I guess it should be fine, even against these guys. Although I will pull back the anti tank gun. And they don't have a lot of experience yet. But I actually don't feel super comfortable attacking those guys. I don't think I'm going to deal that much damage, actually. Alright, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that is an anti aircraft gun.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, so likelihood I'll take that village is also very small. That won't do, and they, they probably have the same there. So this might be the best I can do, Carmona. Interesting how that second artillery does absolutely nothing. Hmm. Alright, well I took that one. Just, I could try to go for that airfield, but I'd rather get these guys back. Just in case I need to have them on those areas at the final turn. So, I don't want to miss out on that bonus. For sure. Because in all honesty, that would be silly. So I'm fine with finishing them off. Um, but I'll, I'll probably place a tank on that. To protect that. And I'll just try a bit of a retreating action here too. That wasn't there before. Huh, seems like they actively also bought units. That's something that they used to do in the grand campaign as well before. That is also quite something. Like I said, uh, I'll just pull back a bit. One, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, four. They can never get around. Sure. If they want to attack my uh, army of Africa units, that is totally fine. They're not going to get a whole lot. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> okay. That's a bit absurd. Although that one, too. Uh, yeah, I... We'll try to finish those off. So let's see what it shows now. It doesn't show anything, even though... Indeed, those are all Army of Africa units. I did get the point, though. So that's a bit weird, but... And I also hold this, but yeah, it's just confusing.
Ah, shame. Oh well. Do get to attack them for some minimal damage. Which is still something. And the turn. Hmm. Alright, well, this is going to be the final turn, so let's just hope it won't be too bad. They did bring plenty of artillery there. Holy moly. Alright. Uh, hmm. Let's see, though. I'll be fine with attacking. Don't worry about those. And I could have easily repaired my units, but I think it's better not to do that. Alright, so as of you, they can move one, two, three, so they can get onto this hex. Taking the high ground. You in there. That keeps five units onto that hex, which is important. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, silent here. Right. All right, then. I have it your way. Alright, I just hope this will be enough protection. Oh, right, they have that kind of movement. Uh. <sighs> yeah, I definitely still need to relearn this. They didn't used to do that kind of stuff back in Panzer Corps in normal version, so uh, I have to relearn that they really actively used that uh, anti-air or that uh, recon movement in this game. I thought it was safe because I had this infantry here and the recon here, so I was like, well, because of the zone of control, there's no enemy unit that can go in here because regular units didn't or uh, units in Panzer Corps 1 didn't do that, so uh, yeah. Uh, look, I, I I have over a thousand hours into Panzer Corps 1, and like, you know, maybe 20 hours of Panzer Corps 2. It, it, it takes a while to readjust yourself 100% uh, with the new, uh, let's just say, rules of the game. And the way the AI plays is definitely part of that, uh, for sure, actually. So yeah, that is a, a lost unit, right. My general, our nationalist c contact in Spain should be joining us any moment now. Abwehr Dorches described Colonel Bolanos as Wagner's interrupted by a woman entering the field tent. You aren't Colonel Bolanos. Who are you? What's the meaning of this? Calm yourself, general. I bring news of your missing cur uh, colonel. 
if you'll just read these communiques. Ah, my apologies. I'm not gonna talk about how he holsters his Luger. My general, this is bad news. It says here that Bolanos is dead, ambushed by a communist faction supporting the Spanish Republic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure where that leaves us now. I hope there are answers in this second communique. So I believe Bolanos, he was on um, the this uh, Spanish uh, islands of the coast of Morocco. I think they're like the Canary Islands, which belong to Spain. I think they're called Canary Islands. So he was there and then indeed he got ambushed. I think it was Bolanos. Apparently, General San Giorgio himself is coming to meet us. I certainly did not expect we would be meeting the leader of the nationalist movement. But wait, according to this, he should already be at this meeting. Spanish officer enters the tent, again interrupting Oberleutnant Wagner. I'm afraid he won't be coming to join us, my general friends. General Franco, it's an honor, sir, but I don't understand. Where is General San Giorgio is dead? He was en route from Portugal when his plane crashed. I'm here to take charge, and I require an update on the situation. First elements of the Condor Legion have been successfully deployed to Spain. Kampfgruppe 88 is ready for action. Our force is comprised of vehicle tanks and aircraft units, but no German infantry divisions, even though there were like 14,000 volunteers, or something like that. Oh well. Um... Also, what I found interesting is that we got quite pushed hard by this group here. Holy cow. In order to get those secondary objectives. Hmm. Yes, I'm aware to the extent of German support. We'll be counting on you to take control of the skies and support our operations. I understand you successfully airlifted a portion of my army of Africa already as well. We'll have to break the Republican blockade to fully mobilize my troops. But before that, what of our local nationalist forces? I actually think they also had to air transport um, General Franco from it, um, Africa as well. I, I believe even Franco was trapped together with the Army of Africa forces uh, in Spanish Morocco. And then the Germans had to air transport them out. According to these documents... Con Colonel Bolanos was killed, and this lady here seems to be a representative of the local militia. This is true, but you're just like you're from the Milicianas. Explain. General Franco, sir, my name is Ana Sofia Vega. My allegiance belongs to your nationalist cause. My comrades and I could not stand the atrocities we witnessed under the Red Terror, so we defected. You look familiar. Vega, you say? I serve with an Alejandro Salvador Vega in the Rift War. Any relation? He was my father, sir, an honorable man to his very end. I see that honor continues to run in his family. Very well, I shall trust you. General, are you sure about? <laughs> I cannot trust the men and women of my... If I cannot trust the men and women of my own country, one mistake of judgment will hardly matter. Now then, I will absorb your local forces into my own, but I still require your services. With that Bolanos, I need, I need a new liaison officer to coordinate with our German allies. Will you serve me on my mission to put an end to this inept and corrupt Spanish Republic? Ana Sofia Vega. Of course, my general. Very well. I hereby grant you the field promotion of Capitana. Only together will we succeed against the Republic. Si, sí, General. Ah, uh, the Captain, but... I suggest you all get well acquainted. Our work to overthrow the Republic has only just begun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've managed with the Army of Africa I must attend to. He leaves the tent. My general, can you believe this? Just like that, she outranks me. Ha <laughs> ha. I can really trust her to be a liaison between Franco's men and our Condor Legion. Does she even speak enough German? Actually, Lieutenant, I do speak enough German, and it's you that doesn't truly understand the situation. Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! If we see at the end of the Spanish Civil War a love affair between this guy and this woman, this Vega woman, I'm not gonna be surprised. It starts playing like the bold and the beautiful. It is not we Spanish who need to earn your trust, but rather that you that must earn the trust of the Spanish people. Our blood has been spilling for years. 
and this coup has only just begun. I'm here to end suffering of my people, even to the point of accepting help from German mercenaries. Wow, okay. Superiority complex, maybe? Are you here to support us, uh, Lieutenant? Jawohl, Captain. Captain. Yeah, it's Captain. Thank you. I would like to trust you and hope we can work together amicably. But please, it's not Captain, it's Capitana. Okay. <laughs> Apologies. Now, if you and your general will excuse me, I do have something to take care of. I'm certain General Franco will have new orders soon, and we'll be in touch with you then. What have we gotten ourselves into, my general? Historically, the operation to transport the Army of Africa from Morocco to Spain was a huge success. By flying over the Republican naval blockade, thousands of troops were moved across the Strait of Gibraltar and would be the first major military airlift. Yeah, it's definitely true. So... That was the first mission. I'm, if I had repaired these guys, probably well, I might have been able to smack those guys, but not by much. I would actually say that their counteroffensive from this side is actually pretty tough. It actually did put me on the defensive quite a bit. And uh, since I did. I was unsure whether I needed to keep these guys here. It means you're going to lose a significant portion of your army holding Seville. I was able to use them on this side and take that hex, but uh, yeah, actually extending out this way, it gets pretty tough because they do have new air support from here and their planes are more powerful than yours. So the only other thing I might have been able to take is this, but they do buy quite a few new units apparently as well. So that's actually pretty interesting. Let's end that briefing. Let's take a look at the battlefield. Yeah, so I was never going to be able to take that with that strong point. The only other thing would be Carmona, potentially. But this counterattack kind of prevented it. This counterattack is more than our troops so if I would not have delayed myself here with the artillery maybe I would have been faster to get over to Carmona hmm I also still don't know how it works with this like I did hold the airfield at the end so I did get the points for both of them actually hmm. All right, well let's take a look here too so you did get a light cruiser. Let's take a look at that Jamie here. We need to zoom in to truly appreciate how it looks. Okay, that's not bad. Let's zoom out again. There's nothing we could have done against that naval blockade. Alright, mission successful.